10 Most Insane Weapons in the World The human race has shown time and time again that it is especially good at coming up with ways to destroy itself through advancing weapon technology. In today's video, we'll take a look at 10 of the most insane weapons ever made, many of which having the capability to wipe out thousands if not millions of lives. Before we start, why not hit the subscribe button and notification bell, that way you will never miss a future upload. Number 10. Hydrogen Bomb A hydrogen bomb, also known as a thermonuclear bomb, is a weapon with enormous explosive power that results from an uncontrolled chain reaction. In a process known as nuclear fusion, the isotopes of hydrogen combine under extremely high temperatures and become helium. During World War II, more than 200,000 people died in Japan after the world's first atomic bomb devastated Hiroshima, followed by another attack on Nagasaki just three days later. While it turns out that a hydrogen bomb has the potential to be 1,000 times more powerful than an atomic bomb, according to nuclear experts. The director of the University of Tennessee's Institute of Nuclear Security, Howard Hall, describes the H-bomb as a city killer with enough power to easily wipe out any modern cities. Number 9. Project Thor Project Thor is an orbital weapon that will be made up of satellites that are launched into space with a group of 20-foot-long tungsten rods. It could use the kinetic energy of the tungsten rod traveling over Mach 10 to deliver a focused blast that could have an impact similar to 11.5 tons of TNT. It was designed as a way to tackle large threats quickly, which would be effective at destroying enemy bunkers and footholds in dangerous territories. The weapon would be very hard to defend against as it would be hard to detect at launch and execution. This is because any infrared signature occurs in orbit at no fixed position. A drawback to the system is that its sensors would be blind during atmospheric entry due to the plasma sheath that would develop ahead of it. Also, the atmospheric entry could melt the non-tungsten components of the weapon, ultimately frying the rest of it. Number 8. Neutron Bomb Since the creation of the atomic bomb, radiation-based explosives are infamous for the death and destruction they cause, and continue to cause months and years after detonation. The neutron bomb is the most powerful of this class of explosive, yielding 10 times the amount of neutron radiation than that of the hydrogen bomb. Neutron bombs were designed to leave buildings intact while targeting soldiers and armor. But this isn't strictly true. The detonation zone will see considerable damage, though it will be far less destructive compared to standard nuclear bombs releasing the same amount of energy. U.S. research on the neutron bomb started in 1958 at the University of California's Lawrence Radiation Laboratory under the direction of Edward Teller. It was widely publicized during the early 1960s and was successfully accomplished in 1963. The first neutron bomb was added to the U.S. arsenal in 1974. Number 7. Electromagnetic Railgun the U.S. Navy has been researching and developing an electromagnetic railgun that will be able to use diverted electrical power from a ship's engine to launch a 3-foot-long, 40-pound projectile up a set of superconducting rails and toward an enemy target. The first successful example, though on a much smaller scale than the intended product, was tested in 2003 in a facility in Kirkcudbright, Scotland. The idea and technologies for the electromagnetic railgun have been around for almost 30 years, but the sheer power required to fire the projectile was not achievable until the early 2000s. Since early research, railguns have been developed by using a very high kinetic energy to fire a projectile, rather than using a conventional ways of firing. Due to the high-velocity kinetic energy it can provide, the destructive powers can greatly exceed those of traditional projectiles of the same size. Number 6. Drones Recharged by a Laser The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA for short, have created a drone that can be charged mid-air by focused lasers. This means, in theory, it will never have to land and could fly indefinitely. The concept is another step toward uncrewed planes to keep pilots safe during conflict or to transport goods. The aircraft has solar panels in its wings that charge the batteries in the fuselage. The batteries provide the initial source of power, but as the power drains through usage, the drone operator can aim the laser beam at the solar panels to charge them almost instantly. 
Number 5. Juliet Marine Systems Ghost In 2012, the Juliet Marine Systems, who are renowned for their work with high-performance military watercrafts, announced their new product, Ghost. It would be a 150-foot ship that could evade radar detection and have the capability to sink nuclear submarines and large surface vessels. The diamond-shaped hull sits upon a pair of struts that extend to two torpedo-like engines. Together, they pull the vessel through the water rather than push it from behind like traditional ships. Though the product is still relatively new, the designs for the torpedo take aspects from those used in World War II, using the air or gas bubbles in the water to reduce friction and cause it to move faster. Its massive fuel tanks mean that the Ghost can travel for long periods of time without the need to refuel, making it the ultimate predatorial weapon of the sea. Number 4. Particle Beam The idea first came about during the infamous Star Wars program that was inspired by the famous film of the same name. During the film, we see an entire planet blown to pieces by the Death Star, a weapon capable of releasing a deadly laser beam. Now, it's worth mentioning that laser beams are very different to particle beams, as lasers require electricity, whereas particle beams rely on neutron generation. The neutrons are then focused into a beam and launched at the target to a devastating effect. It's not just during warfare where we could see the particle beam used, it's believed that they could be used to generate hydrogen for the production of water on other planets, such as Mars, where hydrogen is scarce and oxygen is relatively rich in the atmosphere in the form of CO2. This would be a huge step toward a successful colonization of Mars. Number 3. Tank Killing Quadcopter Drone The Belarus Armed Forces Quadcopter Drone is capable of carrying an RPG-26 single-shot missile that can easily cut through a tank, controlled by a pilot from a safe distance. The quadcopter drone is the first step toward the unmanned battlefield warfare that is expected in the near future. The drone is capable of lifting off with at least 7 pounds of weight, which is impressive for a drone. The mounted RPG-26 was initially designed during the Cold War and has a range of 250 yards. It can have the capability of penetrating through 400 to 500 millimeters of homogeneous steel armor, which is the standard for tank plating. Number 2. Sea Dragon Weapon In a very secretive project, the U.S. Navy and an unknown defense contractor have begun working on a new missile that can be launched from submarines to take out enemy ships. It's believed to combine the existing U.S. Navy submarine missiles with more versatile and advanced technologies that may even be capable of doubling up as both anti-ship and anti-plane missiles. It was believed that the top secret project was leaked after hackers managed to infiltrate a Navy contractor's computer, stealing 614 gigabytes of data. The stolen data went into detail of the supersonic anti-ship missile, which is believed to be a more advanced version of the SM-6 missiles used to defend destroyer ships from unmanned aircrafts and short-range ballistics. Number 1. Russia's Nuclear Tsunami Apocalypse Torpedo Poseidon Russia's dreaded nuclear torpedo is designed to obliterate coastal cities and trigger strings of tsunamis that would continue the destruction. It was initially thought to be a hoax, but after tests had been sighted in the sea, as well as research tracking the project back to 2008, it is now believed to be a reality. The weapon was formerly known as Status-6 until recently being renamed Poseidon, after the Russian military asked the public to come up with a new name. It measures 60 feet in length and a 6.5 feet wide. The nuclear-powered torpedo is designed to cross entire oceans before detonating its thermonuclear warhead. What makes this monster of the sea worse is the proposal to have them tied to the seabed, ready to be released in times of war. Albert Einstein once said, I know not what weapons World War III will be fought, but World War IV will be fought with sticks and stones. Of course, a reference to how the human race will be destroyed and left to start all over again. After hearing about these insane weapons, you think this prediction could come true? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell. That way you will never miss a future upload.